evening. Police searching for a missing mother from North Yorkshire have released new images of her. 34-year-old Victoria Taylor was last seen at her home in Moulton on Monday morning. Following her disappearance, Miss Taylor was pictured on CCTV at a petrol station on Wenham Road. Her belongings were later found near the River Derwent, where searches have since been focused. Her family say they're heartbroken at her disappearance. Three men in their 20s have been arrested following an incident in Stockton earlier. Cleveland police say officers who were in the area around Parliament Street came across a number of men armed with large knives. Three people have been detained on suspicion of a fray. Cleveland police say they will continue to patrol the area to offer reassurance to local people. Changes are being considered to the way that some museums in Northumberland are run. The number of sites, including Waterhorn Colliery Museum and Hexham Old Jail, are currently managed by a charitable trust on behalf of the County Council. Councillors will now be asked to decide whether to bring the attractions into a wider partnership with Tyne and Weir Archives and Museums. County Durham, who has a stoma, has walked more than the distance of a half marathon to raise money and knowledge of his condition. Jack Dale wears a bag to collect waste from his body. Today he walked from Shotton Colliery to Sunderland Stadium of Light on National Stoma Awareness Day. Julia Bathroom reports. When Jack Dale faces a challenge, he gives it his best shot, and he set himself the challenge to spread an important message. To help kids in need who have, have a stoma, what kind of message do you want to, to make sure they hear? Don't be afraid because it's a hidden superpower. Jack is a big football fan and to mark Stoma Awareness Day, his home teams in Shot and Colliery, juniors and adults are wearing his purple armbands, helping spread his message around the leagues. You always ask why we are and what we are and a lot of people aren't aware of what it's all about. So I think you go away and you do research, if you look at it, I think it does make a difference, seeing the armbands and everything else. It's fantastic how much he actually does to help support the charity, even though he's suffering himself. He's fantastic. And from the football club, Jack is setting off on a personal challenge. He's walking to his favourite club, Sunderland, and the Stadium of Light. I don't know how far it is, but I feel confident about it. I just decided to do it to raise money for Gloucester UK. Jack had to have his stoma fitted two years ago. Since then, he's raised more than £5,500. To be honest, the last two years, Jack has let nothing stop Jack. He, Jack prolapses, so basically prolapses, bowel will come out of his tummy. And when that happens, Jack has to lie down and for his bowel to go back in. And still, Jack just carries on with that. It happens at school. He doesn't come home from school. He stays at school. Jack battles every single day. He just wants to spread that word that he should be treated no different to anybody else who lives life without a stoma. Friends and family support Jack, but he is leading the way. It's like spreading out like like love and joy because like it's helping like people. Feels good because you know that you like spreading good news about someone who's an inspiration to people. Don't be be afraid, afraid, be, because it's only a hidden superpower. And Jack is using his hidden superpower to spread that message further. Julia Bathroom, ITV News, Shot and Colliery. And it draw for Sunderland last night as they hosted Leeds United. Chris Rick opened the scoring for the Black Cats after nine minutes. But the visitors bagged an equaliser prior to the break. Just before the hour mark, Lee scored for a second time. Then, with six minutes of injury time played, Sunderland substitute Alan Brown clinched the draw. In this afternoon's action, Middlesbrough were away to Watford in the championship. The game ended 2-1 to the home side, the Borough goal coming from George Edmondson. And in the Premier League, Newcastle United kicked off at 5.30 at Everton and deep into the second half, the score is still nil-nil. That's it for us this Saturday evening. Our next bulletin tomorrow at quarter to seven. Thanks all. Bye-bye.